Hi guys, in this lesson we are going to talk about lists, which are very useful because they can contain elements of different types. Let's get started. Let's create the file lesson 07 list.py. First underscore list equals square brackets. 0, 1 print first underscore list and run it and this is our first list now let's print the type 2 print parentheses type parentheses first underscore list and run as you can see it's a list and as I said can contain many different types let's try it comma 0 0.9 comma true comma position mark string comma square bracket that's an empty list and run here it is you can access an element of a list by using indexing the first element of a list is at index 0 the second at index 1 and so on so print parenthesis first underscore list square brackets zero and run it now let's try to access the last element of a list print parenthesis first underscore list square brackets five and run it zero and empty list there is another way to access the last element of a list. It's using negative index. Minus 1 represents the last element of a list. Let's try it. Comma, first underscore list, square brackets, minus 1, and run. And as you can see, we get the last element twice. We can use a positive or a negative index, it's the same. So if we want the first number, we have to use the minus 6 index. Let's try it. Comma, first underscore list, square bracket, minus 6. We can even select just a part of the entire list using the slicing syntax let's do it print parenthesis first underscore list square bracket zero column four and run and as you can see we get the first the second the third and the fourth element of the list now let's create a new list numbers equal square bracket 10 comma 11 comma 12 and print it now let's add a new element to this list numbers dot append parenthesis 13 and print now let's add a new element between the first and the second element of our list numbers dot insert parenthesis 1 comma 14 print parenthesis numbers and run 
Now let's remove the first element of our list. Numbers dot pop parenthesis zero. Print parenthesis numbers and run. Now let's remove an element we know is in the list. Numbers dot remove parenthesis 11 print parenthesis numbers and run now let's reverse the order of the elements of our list numbers dot reverse parenthesis print parenthesis numbers Now let's sort our list. Numbers dot sort parenthesis print parenthesis numbers. Now let's copy our list and equals numbers dot copy. Parenthesis print parenthesis n. Now let's extend our list with this list we just created. Numbers dot extend parenthesis n. Print parenthesis numbers and run. And now let's clear our list. Numbers dot clear parenthesis print parenthesis numbers and run. Let's print n two comma n and run. So we learned a lot in this lesson. Let's recap. Lesson zero seven hyphen list. We learn about list. We learn how to select elements. And we learned many methods that help us manipulate lists. Happen, insert, pop, remove, reverse, sort, copy, extend, clear. For this lesson it's enough. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.